the last 25 years, there's one car in particular that has run its class time and time again on the REC Rally. That car, amazing enough, is a Skoda. This hopefully will be our biggest year. Uh, last year we had 26 registrations, we've got 20 so far, with four weeks to go before the, the first round in Bournemouth, so we're, we're optimistic it'll be the biggest year. What is the secret to the success then? One word, cost. It's now the, the biggest low cost series in the UK. Uh, Persia used to hold that, uh, that honour, but the Persia series ended at the end of last year. Um, Skoda has taken over the role of that, and we offer value for money rallying in, in competitive low cost Skoda Felicias. <laughs> Start of the uh, Silverstone Rally School stage. Well, one of the regulars in this year's uh, Skoda Trophy is Martin Newcomb. Well, Martin, you've actually been doing the championship now for about two years, so uh, why are you doing it again? Basically because I really do enjoy the competition that we have in the Skoda Trophy. The cars are all pretty much the same and uh, it's quite a low cost championship as well and I really enjoy it basically. Can't wait to have another year. Right. Well people going on about low cost all the time, exactly how much does it cost you to do it this year or will, will it cost you to do it this year? Well we, we tend to not talk too much about budgets but obviously when we're looking for uh, sponsorship deals to run the year it, it generally costs about um, £1,500 per event and there's eight events in the year so you know we've got, we've got to find a lot of money to start the year off and obviously if you're lucky enough to actually win the championship outright it's actually the key to future success isn't it well yes definitely it's uh, you obviously get recognition off Skoda and off other teams as well um, the prize is an actual drive in the British Championship for the following year um, which gets loads of TV coverage and uh, it's definitely an exciting prospect for a good rallying career and obviously one of the nicest things about this is that a, beginner, a driver who's just beginning in rallying can actually join the championship now and instead of having to do other events to get their licences upgraded, they can actually go right to the end of the championship without having to get to another, another uh, event in. That's right, the format is, is such that we, we start with three National B events, then move on to National A in the middle of the season, and then we graduate to an international licence by mid-season, which means that by the RSC rally in November they have an international licence if they finished all five rallies beforehand. And what you said before, obviously, about the secret of the cost, exactly how much money are you looking at to, to actually do the championship? A car will cost between seven and nine thousand pounds to buy second hand in homologation form. Uh, 350 pounds to register for the series. On top of that, you've got entry fees of about 250, 300 pounds per event. Uh, petrol, hotels, recce expenses, mechanics expenses, and bits and pieces for the car. So we're looking at a budget of between 15 and 20 thousand to be competitive for the year. Mm. And the other interesting thing, I noticed quite a lot of people here today actually use their cars on the road. They don't just keep them in the garage and just use them for rallies. That's the beauty of it. You know, it's, it's a road car. It's taxed. It's legal. It's got an MOT certificate. Anybody can can register for the series as long as they're over 17 years old. And obviously you've got quite a few young drivers as well doing it this year. That's right, we've got, um, we've got four novices who've never ever been in a rally car before, including the Lady Quest girl, and we've got nine newcomers to the series who've rallied before but not with Skoda Trophy. So you mentioned the Lady Quest, what exactly is Lady Quest? Lady Quest is, is a, um, a championship set up by the Sun newspaper, Silverstone Rally School and Skoda UK, open to um, budding rally drivers, female rally drivers, who attend 12 finals here at Silverstone over a three month period, the top 10 come here for a final, the winner receives a work-supported drive in Skoda Trophy. There still isn't nearly enough women in the sport, and it's still a very male-dominated sport. Um, however, driving has always appealed to me. Even when I was a child, I would, if we went to an arcade, 
I would always head for the racing games in the arcade and things like that. I uh, tried go-karting when I was a kid and everything else. It's just something that's always appealed to me. So what advice would you give aspiring lady rally drivers who might be watching? Um, just get out there, don't be frightened to try it, because it's a lot of fun and you really can get a long way in it. There's people out there that can help you, and like Skoda and the Silverstone Rally School here has really helped me this year with this opportunity. It's just fantastic. Well, that was the Skoda Trophy, and that's the Rally Championship for this year. And as you can see, cheap motorsport is available to you. It can be Skoda, and it can be surprising. <laughs>